Pericardium 1, Tianqi, Heavenly Pool. This is an intersecting point of the pericardium channel, San Zhao channel, gallbladder, and liver channels. Right, so we see a connection between Zhui Yin there right, and Xiaoyang. It's in the fourth intercostal space, one sun lateral to the nipple and five sun lateral to the anterior midline. Dedman describes this location as being three sun below the anterior uh, end of the axillary fold and one sun lateral to the nipple. Function opens the chest and rectifies the chi, suppresses cough and calms dyspnea, right, difficulty breathing, diffuses the lungs and clears heat. So indications would be suffoc suffocating sensation in the chest, pain in the hypochondriac reason, right, that often we talked about pain the other day and uh, that pain can be caused by stagnation. So if we rectify the chi, open the chest, we're going to clear uh, pain, discomfort, swelling and pain of the axillary region. So here we see the pericardium exerting some influence on the chest area. It's a relationship to the emperor, right, to the upper jaw, right, so rectifying the chi, particularly in this instance of the lung. Pericardium 3, Kutsa, marsh at the bend. The Chasi point, the water point. On the transverse cubital crease, at the ulnar side of the tendon of the muscle biceps brachii. So right on the radial side of this tendon is lung 5, right? On the ulnar side of this tendon in the cubital crease is pericardium 3 actions. Pacifies the stomach, clears heat, cools blood. Here's the dealing with that fire pathogen, right? Expels fire poison, opens the orifices, stops convulsions, moves blood, dispels stasis, and calms the mind. So we're seeing a lot here, right? But clearing heat, expelling fire poison, right, that toxic fire, generally oftentimes part of an infectious disease, traditionally speaking, right, calming the mind. We see a little bit of a function on the mind. The mind can be agitated by excess heat and fire in the system, so clearing that will help calm the mind. Indications, cardiac pain, palpitation, Febrile disease. Febrile disease is a disease with fever. Irritability, stomach ache, vomiting, pain in the elbow and arm, tremor of the hand and arm. Pericardium 6, Neguan, inner gate. Luo connecting point, master point of the Yin Wei Mai the yin linking vessel. Very, very important point. This is one that you should star. Okay. And its primary uses are in regulating heartbeat, so bradycardia, slow heartbeat, or tachycardia, rapid heartbeat, chest pain, palpitation, irritability, anxiety, and also calming the stomach chi, chi, cases of nausea, to helping to descend the stomach chi. Pericardium 6 is located two sun above the transverse wrist crease between the tendons of muscle palmaris longus and flexor carpi radialis. It opens the chest, regulates the heart chi, 
regulates blood, regulates and clears the triple burner, calms the mind, regulates Zhui Yin, terminal Yin, harmonizes the stomach. So cardiac pain, palpitations, stuffy chest, pain in the hypochondriac region, stomach ache, nausea, vomiting, hiccup, mental disorders, epilepsy, insomnia, febrile diseases, irritability, contraction, pain of the elbow and arm. So if you ever asked a question on a test asking for you an indication of pericardium 6, chest pain, heart pain, palpitations, uh, so all your heart type syst sy uh, symptoms. It's not here. Certainly I would accept uh, irregularities in the heartbeat. That's that regulating chi and blood function, right? Or action. And then we have all of these digestive uh, issues or indications relating to the stomach, right? Hiccup, vomiting, stomach ache, nausea. Okay, so this heart symptoms and signs and stomach signs and symptoms um, and then of course local pain in the elbow and arm. Pericardium 7, Da Ling, Great Hill. This is the shoe stream point, earth point, sedation point, right? earth on fire are you one source point and a ghost point in the middle of the transverse wrist crease between the tendons of palmaris longus and flexor carpi radialis All right calms the mind and clears heat indicated for cardiac pain palpitation stomach ache vomiting mental disorders epilepsy stuffy chest pain in the hypochondriac region convulsion insomnia, irritability, and foul breath, right? Foul breath, halitosis, is often a sign of heat. Any, when you, when you start getting foul-smelling excretions or foul breath or any type of emission from the body that has a strong and unpleasant odor, we can start to think heat generally speaking. Okay. You know, one of the ways that I remembered this point when I was a student was, you know, darling, like darling, you know, oh, darling, but if your darling leaves, right, you get the emotional heat of an upset of, of that, um, of that loss, your mind gets a little bit crazy, oh my gosh, why'd they leave me, uh, you know, you can get into a very deep emotional state. And the point is good for all of those things. Palpitation, stomach ache, which we've seen. The, the mental disorders like anxiety or depression, right? Um, irritability, insomnia. These are all things that I've seen people experience as a result of a bad breakup, right? So I just use the point name, even though it's not what it means. I, I I used it as a as a way to remember, you know. Yeah, well, if your darling leaves and you're upset, then you need something that'll calm the mind and real, you know clear the emotional heat, you know. And if your darling breaks your heart, then there could be cardiac pain and palpitation. And oftentimes, when you're emotionally upset, there's stomach ache, and vomiting, right? Pain, irritability, insomnia, right? 
So that's a little story that I told myself about this point that helped me remember it. Pericardium 9. Xing Chong, central hub. This is the Jing well point, the wood point, and tonification point, right? Wood on fire. In the center of the tip of the middle finger, you will notice that this point is not around a nail root or nail bed, right? It's in the center of the tip of the middle finger. The action clears heat, revives consciousness, benefits the tongue, clears summer heat. So what does summer heat look like? Right, well, let's look at the last several indications. Vomiting, diarrhea, epigastric pain, sudden turmoil disorder. That's like where you, that's almost like food poisoning, sudden turmoil, where it's, you know, you're vomiting, there's diarrhea, there's cramping, there's stomach ache, right, sweating. Right, so that's all um, dealing with the summer heat problem. Again, external heat pathogen affecting the fire channel. So our actions, clears heat, revives consciousness, benefits the tongue, and clears summer heat. Indications, wind stroke, loss of consciousness, fever, headache, hypertension, right, there's heat usually involved or often involved in hypertension, Pain and stiffness of the tongue. Inability to speak. Remember, the heart is closely associated with the tongue as well. Heart pain. Heat in the palms. And then as we talked about a lot of our summer heat indications, vomiting, diarrhea, epigastric pain, sudden tor turmoil, and childhood nutritional impairment. That concludes our discussion of the pericardium channel. Now we'll move on to the San Jiao channel of Han Xiaoyang.